Hey, how's it going? So today we're going to check out kind of a different version of Chi and Pao that someone commented and I tried it out and it's actually pretty good. Now the main difference is the 2-2 Palkia V-Star line. Now Palkia V-Star is pretty good. It has 280 hit points. For 2 water, it does 60 plus 20 damage for all bench Pokemon, yours and your opponents. And its V-Star power is probably the main reason we play it. It accelerates three energy, three water energy from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you like. So this takes a lot of the pressure of getting a turn two Baxcalibur out off of this deck. You can just start attacking with Palkia. You can also load up Greninja and attack with that. You can save the V-Star power for late game and kind of set up checkmate scenarios with your board where you still haven't used it and you have enough energy on your Chi and Pows to win if you just accelerate with the Palkia. We also don't have Pokey Stops in this build, so it is a little less turbo, but we don't want to be milling our supporters because we are also playing more supporter cards. We have two Iono and two Bosses Order, which are not normally typically found in Chi and Pao decks. And Chi and Pao, of course, still is one of the main attackers. It has 220 HP for two water, does 60 for each water we discard from our Pokemon and its ability lets us search our deck for two water energy when it's in the active spot. So that's really good. There is no Iron Hand, so it does take away from the power of that, but we still have everything else that Chi and Pao typically has, the Bavarial Baxcalibur, all the superior energy retrievals. Another nice thing about Palkia is you can get rid of one or two superiors in most games. You don't need all four, but they're still there if you wanna just act as a Chi and Pao deck the whole game. Yeah, that's the list. Let's get into the games. All right, so this first game we are up against Reggie Drago. Now, this is a perfect example of a matchup that would be really hard without the Palkia line because they could just attack with Noivern and make it so the only way we can do damage is with our Baxcalibers, so, or with like Prime Catcher, and that's only one turn. But yeah, we're just gonna Irida. I wanna grab Greninja. I would really like to also get a Palkia V down, but I am expecting to get knocked out this turn, so I grab a a Buddy Poffin to guarantee the that I can get a Barrel next turn because I think that was a little more important than the Palkia. I do get lucky enough to draw into one, so I bench the Palkia and pass. They they were sitting on a research, so they can just more than likely they're going to be able to knock out my Bidoof this turn, but. I could probably Ultra Ball for Barrel and at least draw some cards, unless they do exactly what they just did, and get a Dragapult into the discard pile. Now this was kind of a lapse on my part. I probably should have retreated my Bidoof. I don't know, I didn't really have much of an option to retreat it though, because I had to use Greninja. I didn't have to, but I wanted to use Greninja, and for some reason I just didn't really consider the turn 2 Dragapult, but this is kind of going to suck. I guess we can hope that they knock out my Frigibax instead of my Bidoof, that would be kind of nice. But I doubt they're going to do that, and yeah, they don't. So no, no Barrel for us this turn. But at least we can at least guaranteed get an attack off with our Palkia V-Star. I do top deck an Irida, which is kind of lucky. I'm not sure what I could grab with that. I kind of want to get a Vessel to not have to waste this Superior, but it is prized, unfortunately. Actually, I'm not even 100% sure that there's a Vessel in this deck, and yeah, it wasn't prized because there is no Vessel. All right, <laughs> that's kind of funny. This whole game, I thought that the Vessel was prized, but there really just isn't one. So I do just grab the Candy and Baxcalibur. It seemed like the next best choice. I'm just trying to decide what I want to get rid of with the Superior. I do choose to get rid of the two other cards that aren't Ultra Ball because I'm going to hopefully Ultra Ball for Luminion in a couple turns. I'm kind of hoping that they don't knock me out. That would really be unfortunate. It's definitely something they could do, but I'm kind of thinking they might just attack with Dragapult again because the only way that they have to knock out a 280 hit point Pokemon would probably leave them in like a hard spot to attack next turn. 
they'd either have to get rid of four energy or loss zone two depending on if they're playing Giratina V-Star or Raging Bolt EX. But they Apex Dragon with no one-shot Pokemon in the discard, so that's kind of a relief. I can knock them out this turn and Ultra Ball away whatever I get off my prizes for Lumineon to Iono them. Kind of sucks that I'll only be Ionoing to four, but what can you do? I also get an S-Ball. That's pretty nice. I can grab Chiampao that I can at least get energy to discard with Greninja to draw a couple cards next turn. And I pull Eared off the prizes. Now I can bench another Palkia V and we're not in the worst spot in the world now. Right, so they bench another Reggie Drago. I also would like to knock out like one shot this Reggie Drago V star if possible. And then that should put me in a pretty easy spot to finish the game off with Palkia V-Star. It's kind of the plan right now. They are able to put damage onto my Chi and Pao, which sucks. Now at this point, I basically have to Ultra Ball away my top deck and probably Irida to get Iono. It's really going to be the only way that I can do anything. I do Greninja first. I'm not sure why I did that watching it back. Like I have to Ultra Ball anyway and saving the Greninja for the other side would have been good. Oh, I think it was because I didn't like the cards that I had to get rid of. But I grab a Palkia V and just I own them to one, which is pretty good. And I think I got what I need to knock them out. Yeah, I do. So I have to get rid of... This is where I make a pretty big mistake. I know what I need to do here, but for some reason I just don't do it because I only have three energy in the discard pile right now. And yeah, you see I'm about to superior away the correct combo of cards, but I don't know why I do this. Getting rid of Prime Catcher feels so bad, but all I need to win next turn is just an Ultra Ball. If they don't win, I just need an Ultra Ball to win and I still get rid of the wrong stuff and keep the prime catcher which is really dumb hopefully i'll get bailed out off my prizes and i do not at all those are probably two of the worst cards that i could have got off my prize cards i don't need any more pokemon at this point maybe another champa would be good but luckily the iono to one worked i don't top deck anything if i just had the ultra ball all i'd have to do is ultra ball for palkia v star use the v star ability and attach these two energy and i would just win the game but I can just, I do draw with Greninja. Now I'm in kind of an awkward spot. I'll probably Artisan for my Iron Bundle just to make it one more thing they have to get to knock me out next turn. And I can just attach and pass. I could hold the energy to have a guaranteed energy to use with Greninja next turn. I do end up doing that just in case maybe they have a Prime Catcher of their own or they boss something up and I can't grab any energy out with Shivery Chill. They do get a Vessel though. That is that is rough. Their deck is really thin. They did discard their last research and their only supporter left should... Actually, they might be out. If they're playing the NAIC list, that list only had two, two Ionos. So we kind of get lucked out on that one, but we still really need to get something off of this Greninja use. I really messed up by not getting or not keeping that ultra ball. It was kind of dumb, but what can you do? You live and you learn. It's probably the third time I've made that mistake. And every other time it has lost me the game. I do get an S ball though. So that will be enough to win the game. I can super rod two energy back and prime catcher use Chi and Pao to pull the two energy out of the deck and do a nice perfect 240. So it kind of got bailed out of my mistake on that one, but that's just an example of how Iono and just having an evolution attacker in this deck can be very good. Our opponent has a Entei V in the active spot. This is kind of interesting. Oh, it is a Charizard deck. At first I was wondering if it was gonna be like the Entei Iron Valiant deck that people played for a little bit, but 
it is just a Charizard player with an extra attacking option. And we're definitely fine with that because Palkia pretty easily knocks out this uh, Entei for two prizes. And hopefully we can get ahead in the prize trade. So I can pretty safely bench it. Charizard can't do 220 to a V Pokemon turn two. And I'm going to ear to here for, I definitely want to establish Greninja. And there's really no other item I want. So I grab Rare Candy. I I really don't like doing stuff like this. Just kind of showing my opponent that I have a card that I want next turn. And then I just draw another Rare Candy. Which really sucks because now they're going to already be more likely to Iono me. Because they know I have a Rare Candy in my hand. And now I've drawn... I have two of my three Rare Candies in my hand. So yeah, they're probably going to Iono either way. But... Now I have two rare candies at the bottom of my deck. I do get a good enough hand to knock out this Entei with Palkia though. So I can Greninja a energy away. Hard retreat and energy off of this Frigibax. And use Palkia's V-Star to accelerate. Another thing, oh they just knocked me out. So I can just Irida for Candy Bax Caliber and just attach these two energy. I'll probably still use Greninja though because the hand is a little bit weak and uh, I'm pretty likely to draw into another energy card anyway and if worse comes to worse I will just use Palkia's uh, V-Star ability to guarantee the knockout. We do draw one so that's kind of nice. I opted to use Irida after Greninja because I just wanted to see what I got off of the Greninja before making my decision. If I got a rare candy I could have grabbed an ultra ball to get the barrel that's really what I was hoping for and if I got the Bax caliber I could have grabbed maybe a Palkia V star for next turn I could have grabbed a Chi and Pao to use next turn or to put on the bench instead of my Palkia but we did get the barrel off the prizes that was kind of nice I knew that was prized and I was kind of hoping that I would get it and I thought I was safe from being knocked out this turn until they just slam the Kieran on me to do a nice even 300 damage to knock me out that's kind of unfortunate i am gonna send up the greninja because as a backup i will just get prime catcher to knock out this del fox with my palkia and this is another hard decision um i'm thinking about taking the bidoof off of the prizes but that's just another card that would be clogging up my hand where I kind of want to get down a, a Chi and Pao this turn to have to promote off of this Iono that I'm pretty sure is coming my way. And I unfortunately also have to give him an Artisan, but I just need to draw as many cards as possible. I'm also just going to check my deck to make sure the Prime Catcher's in there and see if I just have any better plays. I, I kind of wanted to also, I could knock out their their Pidgeot with a Chi and Pao. But I'd have to get Superior off of the Irida, so I couldn't do that. I don't know why I was thinking that I could do that. But yeah, I'm really kind of trying to figure out, because I feel like there's something that I could do to kind of guarantee game this turn. Like get, put, uh, get like a checkmate kind of board established, but... The more that I'm looking at it, I really just can't. I just need to hope that they do not knock out my my Barrel and Iona me, because that would really put me in a rough spot. This is also where a counter catcher would be nice. I think the original list from the guy in the comments did have a counter catcher in it, if I remember correctly. But I wanted to try to make it as consistent as possible, so I cut a couple things for like a fourth ultra ball and a fourth nest ball and i do retreat the greninja first because that nets me plus one energy in play and lets me use lets me use greninja or get plus one energy in play and now i i could either attach it or i could hold on to it that's also kind of a debate because if i attach it i don't know it's a bit of a weird decision it would give me a pivot next turn but if they don't disrupt my hand I can't use Greninja but if they don't disrupt my hand or knock me out I'm kind of in a pretty good spot regardless so I'll just attach it 
I get a water off the prices anyway, so it kind of works out. Now they need to like Iono countercatcher me, I think. They they countercatcher the Bax Caliber. I I've fallen into this trap myself a lot, but you definitely want to Iono the Babarel. It's just far more detrimental to uh Chiampao decks to not have Babarel in play. It's so important, especially if you're gonna Iono. Like it'll just be able to drop to one. They don't, or up to five. They don't know this, but leaving me with this hand would almost be better than I own me because my hand was just so clogged up. There wasn't going to be, I wouldn't be able to draw many cards next turn. I'm, I have a little bit of a debate here of what to send up because I could get boss. No, there's no debate of what to send up. I don't know why I was thinking about that. I kind of got tricked into thinking about it again. Um, I just have to send up the Chi and Pao because I just have to go for game this turn. For some reason I was thinking that I could get Prime Catcher and I would want all the energy in play. But I did not get the uh, Rare Candy Bex Caliber off of that. And I think all four of my Irida are gone. Yes, they are. So I'm just going to thin my hand down with this Ultra Ball. Or not thin my hand down, but thin my deck out by one card by Ultra Balling for Bex Caliber first. So that I have slightly better odds to draw rare candy off of this Greninja. I was, for some reason, I was debating what to Ultra Ball away, but <clears throat> there was really only ever one choice. And I do end up hitting the rare candy, which is kind of lucky. And I can just do all the damage in the world to finish off this game against Charizard. So we are up against Lugia this game. And I think this is a fine enough matchup for Chi and Pao, and we get to go first. Hands a little bit awkward. I have to Ultra Ball away both these water energies. There's just really no other option. I don't think so I need that other Ultra Ball for Babarel next turn. And I'm probably going to have to Babarel away or Ultra Ball away the Irida and my top deck to get the Babarel or Irida for like a Pokemon to Ultra Ball away as well as a Buddy Poffin or something like that. Really just top decking um, the barrel would be pretty excellent, so can always hope for that. I also would like to find another water energy, and then I can retreat this iron bundle and then accelerate three energy off of Palkia's V-Star power instead of just, uh, just the two that I have in the discard right now. Well, I need to find a third to be able to attack, really. So my opponent gets a Mincino, so... This is the Mencino version, or Sincino version, it looks like. Um, I don't know if that's really better or worse. I top deck a Nest Ball, which is kind of unfortunate, and I do just opt to Ultra Ball away both those because I don't know that I really want to get rid of any of the water Pokemon in my deck. Like, I could have eared it and gotten a Chi and Pow to get rid of, but I kind of want both those. That's kind of a weird decision. I was just kind of hoping to find another supporter off of the Babarel, but I didn't. So I can just retreat into this Palkia and put an extra energy on the Champau to get it ready to knock out something next turn. I also do Hyper Blower just to get rid of this, this Encino threat. They could probably knock me out next turn if I left that alive and this way they should have a much harder time knocking me out. I think they would have to use Weird Ear, and I doubt that they play it if they are playing this in Cenos, so we're probably overall pretty safe. They do get their double Archeops, though. They don't have the best attackers, which leaves us in a pretty nice spot. But I think next turn I might have to bench this other Chiam Pao, and well, that sucks. Yeah, they bring up my barrel. That's terribly unfortunate. Now we're just kind of like going to hit in with Palkia and hope, I guess. It's not really the best spot. This deck kind of uh, really doesn't like to not have a barrel in play, especially with a hand that's as bad as this. I'm debating setting up the Chi and Pao here because maybe I top deck something to get Greninja. And then I could... 
uh, use Champau to get energy out of my deck to draw. I do top deck Iono, which is kind of like a double-edged sword. I have to give my opponent more cards, but I, I just need to do something. Now, I also really mess up here. This is just bad sequencing. I should just Nest Ball for Iron Bundle and just and use it and then Buddy Pop in for my two Bidoofs. So I am kind of worried that they will have a boss in their hand to like bring up my only Bidoof in play. But I played the, the Pop in first, so now I'm kind of stuck in the play of either getting both Bidoof or only get one and then do the bundle play and bench the Greninja and draw two with the uh, the ability. I, I don't know. I'm between drawing two and just attaching the energy to the Chiampao so that if they do boss my Bidoof and like knock it out with Lugia or something, I could just knock out uh, knock out their Lugia with one attachment and Chiampao's attack is kind of what I was thinking, but I don't end up doing that. I wanted to save the water energy to draw two more cards next turn. So of course I get another water off of the prizes. I probably really should have just attached it. That might have been a moment where I kind of overthought everything because if they don't knock out my Bidoof, I, I don't need to draw with Greninja because I can just draw it with Bobarel and probably get a water energy to draw more with Greninja. And if they do knock out my Bidoof, I can grab more water energies with the Chi and Pao. So I probably thought about that a little too much and ended up doing the wrong play. They are going to Ultra Ball and get rid of a Cincino. That's kind of, I kind of like to see that. They get Iron Hands. That's a little bit random. They, I don't know in my hand, which that really sucks. I, I like that hand. I can't really do much with this hand. That last hand had basically everything I needed to knock out this Lugia and draw some more cards. And now, well, not basically. I needed to find a Bax Caliber, which looks like actually seeing this, I was pretty far away from finding one. But maybe I could have pulled something off like between drawing with the barrel and, and then Greninja afterwards. I get a second superior. I'm going to use it just to draw a couple cards with Greninja. Doesn't really feel good using superior for one, but this version of the deck doesn't rely on superior as much as the other version. Just probably one or two is going to be enough to finish this game. And I'm just debating here, bossing up an Archeops and going back on to even prizes. I do kind of like that. It also takes away the option of them pulling out like a surprise attacker. And now I have almost everything to finish the game. If they're going to, of course, put a legacy energy onto this Iron Hands. But if I could get like a Prime Catcher, maybe. Yeah, Prime Catcher is actually the only thing that, <laughs> that would win me the game. Then I could Prime Catcher up the Lugia and knock it out with... Uh, with Chi and Pao, because they are going to take two prizes or three prizes this turn and go down to two, which is kind of scary because now I, I just can't leave this Chi and Pao in the active spot. I have to get a Bex Caliber out and retreat to it if I'm unable to get the attack off because anything else they can just, they can just take two prizes on it with Iron Hands and win the game so it kind of leaves me in a weird spot where I was hoping to get maybe rare candy off of that Greninja so that I could ear to for prime catcher but I just get another superior so I am just going to end up retreating here I get ultra ball and I'm trying to figure out how to pair my hand down as far as I possibly can I want to get rid of as many cards as possible just to, oh no, don't do that. I should, oh, interesting. Now I'm going to get a barrel and yeah, I don't know. I should not have attached that to Greninja. I guess it kind of makes sense if, if I don't get the Bax Caliber, I kind of lose on the spot anyway, because any of my Pokemon can just get knocked out. 
because if I do just pass with this champ pound the active, they can just retreat to the Lugia and knock it out. So I retreat to Baxcalibur and pass. This is kind of, it, I don't know, it's not really a weird play. It's really the only option that I had. This is the only chance that I do have to win the game. And they're just staring at their hand, trying to figure out if they can do anything, I'm guessing. Probably trying to flip a coin for Luminion. This is one of the, like, these are the most exciting games, I think, where when you're playing it, you're, you're like, oh man, just your kind of heart's racing a little bit. You're like, does my opponent get what they need to win the game? You're just hoping that they that they miss it and they flip the second heads on capturing Aroma. And that's like such a relief because they probably just get Luminion if they flip tails and slam boss but they did get two tails on capturing aroma earlier and they just amp you very much but the game is not over yet i still need to get a way to bring up this lugia and knock it out so i was gonna pop in for a bidoof to thin my deck a little bit but i don't do that because i remember i still have luminion in the deck and uh, this is not ideal i don't really get what i need but i do get the ultra ball Right now I'm just kind of like counting my hand to figure out if I have enough cards to actually use the superior, which I do. Now I can just Luminion for Irida for Prime Catcher. And yeah, just win the game. That was a pretty intense ending, I think. And yeah, those ones are always really fun. Because now I can just grab a couple of earn energy out of the deck, superior way two cards, and knock out this Lugia for 300 damage and end up winning the game. That was a really close game. A lot of these games were really close. Not really the best draws in the world, but they will take it. Those games are always a little more exciting. Definitely try this deck. It's pretty fun. I don't know if it's better than regular Chiampao right now. It might be. Chiampao does seem to be in a pretty good spot all around right now. People are just worried about the Dragapult matchup can kind of go crazy really quick. But I do think that the Palkia will significantly help the Dragapult matchup. As well as it makes it so that you can kind of play slower games of the deck. Like you actually have comeback potential with the Ionos and stuff. I know that was the person that commented. That was one of their things that they pointed out. Was that they liked how you could go a little bit slower with the deck and still have a chance to win the game. Even if you went down a couple prizes. But overall it's pretty cool. Definitely try it out. Um, like, comment, subscribe or whatever. And uh, yeah, take care.